Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Daily Star under the main headline of F1 fans brand Horner, Absolute Toad, for saying Red Bull. Were, hard done by. Summary of headline article. F1 fans have branded Red Bull's chief principal Christian Horner as an absolute toad after he claimed Red Bull were hard done by last season. Red Bull were the major beneficiary of Michael Marzi's decision to finish the race in Abu Dhabi last season. However, Horner claims that over the course of the season, Red Bull suffered more than other teams. Speaking on Sky. Horner said, we felt pretty aggrieved. Throughout the year, we always seem to be on the wrong end of the decision making. Horner saying on Sky that Red Bull were more hard done by last season than any other team. Oh. Third added with a laughing emoji. From Daily Star under the main headline of six injuries suffered by football managers after Lampard. Breaks hand in dugout. Summary of headline article. And as Everton manager Frank Lampard found out during his side's priceless 1-0 victory against Newcastle United. Injuries can happen to anybody in football. Daily Star Sport assesses six nasty injuries football managers have suffered. I've broken my hand by the way celebrating, a laughing Lampard said while evidently in a state of Immense discomfort. Thomas Tuchel what other manager injuries can you think of? Not only was he on his own two feet in his last Champions League final. He also won the whole competition with Chelsea. From the Sun under the main headline of get a £25 in free bets for the Midlands Grand National with Grosvenor Sport. Summary of headline article. Punters can claim £25 in free bets for the Midlands Grand National at Utoxeter with Grosvenor Sport. New Grosvenor Sport customers will receive £25 in free bets when they stake £5 on horse racing. Visit the Grosvenor Sport website using this link here. Register a new account and deposit a minimum of £5. Once that initial bet has settled, Grosvenor Sport will credit your account with five five pounds free bet tokens to use on horse racing. Void bets. Cashed out. Bets and bets using odds boost. Free bet tokens do not count as qualifying bets. And free bet tokens expire after seven days. From Daily Star under the main headline of Spurs boss Conte fires back at Mikel Arteta's unfair. Rant on Arsenal fixtures. Summary of headline article. Arteta hit out at the Premier League schedule after his Arsenal side having to play Liverpool on Wednesday night and then Aston Villa on Saturday lunchtime. Conte fumed. I only want to remember. Remind. Arteta. About. The game that we postponed. Tottenham v Arsenal. Okay. Yes. If we speak about fair or unfair. Okay. And. I stop. We postponed a game Tottenham v Arsenal. If you remember. I don't forget this and I think it is not right to speak about fair or unfair. From Mail Online under the main headline of Kyrgios apologizes to Ball Boy he almost hit and gives. Him racket. Summary of headline article. The racket speared toward the wall of the arena where it left Ball Boy TEI Park ducking for cover. Pick.twitter.com slash 8BG4 FUQG. Billy Bang. At Billy Bang. March 18, 2022 Overnight. Kyrgios sheepishly took to Instagram to find out the identity of the Ball Boy and apologize. I just want to apologize to that ball kid at the end of the match, Kyrgios wrote on Instagram. The ball boy was more than happy to accept the peace offering and revealed he was unharmed from the incident. TEI Park was the ball boy that Kyrgios almost hit when he smashed his racket.
from Daily Mirror under the main headline of Nick Candy outlines his Chelsea transfer plans if he succeeds in a £2.5 billion buyout. Summary of headline article. Nick Candy made a £2.5 billion proposal, through his Blue Football Consortium, to buy Chelsea off Roman. Abramovich's prospective buyers scrambled to get their offers in before Friday's 9 p.m. deadline Nick. Candy pledges he will keep spending at Chelsea if his takeover bid is accepted. The London property developer made a £2.5 billion proposal, through his Blue Football Consortium, to buy the club off Roman Abramovich's prospective buyers scrambled to get their offers in before. Friday's 9 p.m. deadline. But Candy is not planning to rip everything up and hit the reset button with regards to how they would operate in the transfer market. Why does there have to be one rich family that the fans end up hating because they don't invest? We have 100 million fans in China, over 80 million fans in India and over 70 million in Southeast Asia. From the Guardian under the main headline of France have not been in this situation and England should look to exploit any jitters, Hugo Monnier. Summary of headline article. To illustrate, Stuart Hogg carried the ball 14 times in Scotland's defeat by France. Throughout the tournament, from 37 box kicks or up and unders on their ball France have retained only one. My mind goes back to the 2019 fixture at Twickenham, when England thrashed France and Johnny May scored a hat-trick inside the first half. Gaben Villiers could be targeted by England with Eddie Jones hoping to exploit any vulnerability in the air. They've managed two tries outside the Italy match which just isn't good enough and I really don't see England outscoring France in terms of tries. From BBC under the main headline of Breathless. Bruising. Brilliant. Controversy and drama in Leeds win at Wolves. Summary of headline article. It was a bruising. Breathless and brilliant game. Which seemed all but certain to be won by Wolves when they took a 2-0 lead in the 11th minute of. First half injury time. Everyone saw what happened and now they have the chance to watch on TV. Wolves boss Bruno Lager told BBC Sport. Wolves captain Connor Cody told Sky Sports. We should still stay in the game but it is not a red card. As soon as the red card happened it gave us a right boost and then we scored pretty soon after. Wolves 2-3 leads United. Jesse Marsh impressed by determination of his side. We have spoken from the start about not just surviving but thriving. From Mail Online under the main headline of Wolves Stewards Prevent Another Pitch Invader From Goalposts Protest Summary of Headline Article Wolves Stewards were forced to prevent another pitch invader tying themselves to the goalposts during their dramatic 3-2 defeat to Leeds on Friday. Wolves stewards were forced to prevent another pitch invader tying themselves to goalposts there. Individual was stopped near the home side's goal before being carried away by stewards' arsenals. Game against Liverpool on Wednesday had to be temporarily halted following the bizarre antics of a pitch invader. Just Stop Oil. A Twitter account named Just Stop Oil has claimed responsibility for the stunt. Louis. 21. Locked onto the goalpost at Goodison Park wearing a Just Stop Oil t-shirt. Causing the referee to briefly stop play. From Sky Sports under the main headline of England will learn from day three mistakes. Says spin coach Jeetan Patel. Summary of headline article. England took only three wickets in the day as they toiled away for 90 overs on day three. With Craig Braithwaite, 109 no. And Jermaine Blackwood, 102. Scoring centuries as the West Indies closed the day on 288 to 4.
trailing still by 219 runs. Stokes should have also picked up Blackwood for a duck. But England didn't review his LBW appeal when DRS would have upheld the shout. And Saqib Mahmood bowled Blackwood for 65. Only for his first test wicket to be chalked off due to him overstepping and bowling a front foot. No ball. Saqib Mahmood was denied a maiden test wicket when he bowled Jermaine Blackwood off of a no ball. We did a lot of good stuff and hopefully we come back with the same attitude and effort. West Indies and England will resume the second test at 2 p.m. UK time on Saturday. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.